Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. My background is my 38th year coaching. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as a head coach at both the collegiate and high school levels. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about one of our, what we call, rifle package um, stunts, which is a, a run line stunt specifically called to in a run situation to specifically use to try and disrupt a run blocking scheme. So that's what rifle signifies, okay? So we, there's a lot of things you can do here in this particular um presentation we're going to focus on a nose only rifle stunt which we call simply angle away in this particular case or the complementary or the opposite of that is angle two okay so first let me just talk to you about how we designate meaning who are we angling away from and then conversely who are we angling to well that can vary and that's where coaching and film study and tendencies come in. In this example, we're using the tight end as our reference point. So the inside linebackers make a lucky Ringo call to get the nose to go in the direction we want them to. Okay, so yeah, you could technically say this would be a left call. As it says, this is a left rip example, as they all are, as I've explained in other presentations as to why. And so the nose technically should know to go right. But since the nose always lines up over the football, they don't necessarily need as to hear that left and right call, really. So just to make sure, the inside linebackers will say Ringo to get the nose moving away from the tight end. Okay? So as an example, why would we want to move away from the tight end? You could also... Do it, by the way, the halfback. So if the halfback were east and we want to go away, we'd say this week we're doing our rifle stunts tour away from the offset halfback. Okay? So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. That's why this is just an example. So here, why we would want the nose going uh, away from the tight end, perhaps these uh, two guards in center are exceptional at the backside scoop. And so when we want our nose to stay in the backside A, he might get swallowed up. And so the guard picks up the nose. The center comes off, is able to get a better chance of picking up backside linebacker. So to try and offset that, we might give the nose a head start and slant him into there to have a good chance to penetrate and disrupt and split a backside scoop. That would be a reason to do it. Another reason might be teams that like to run zone boot, and we have a chance for with our nose to disrupt inside out on that, okay? But honestly, the biggest reason would be to disrupt the backside scoop scheme, scoop scheme when teams are really good at it and maybe our nose isn't quite fast enough or we don't think has much of a chance to help us on the backside of a scoop, this would be why we would call it. Conversely, utilizing the same tight end as our focal point, meaning we're going two or away from the tight end, the reason we would call an angle two is teams that have a very, very high tendency rate, meaning percentage-wise, 75% or higher, they're going to run to the tight end. And so it's not even a matter of we're worrying about a backside scoop. We just want to get another defender on the play side immediately, and that would be the nose because he's four yards closer than the backside linebacker. That's another reason we would we would uh, utilize a nose angle by himself, in this case, to the tight end, okay? In, in the angle away, we're trying to break up backside scoop, and it's angle two. Maybe we need the help immediately to disrupt vertically running lanes, possible cutback from B to A to A from the running back with a great slant penetration play side A by the nose right now. Okay, because typically 
they read the first down defender inside where the hole is, which is usually a B-gap, so that would be the nose, so that would be a reason for us to call it. And again, no impact on our inside linebackers in either angle two or angle away, so our defensive ends are still playing their B-gap, makes our inside linebackers C-gap play side, their own A-gap, when they're on the backside. So here, if it is run this way, Mike's going to fit his A. No big deal. Same on the next one. For a team that is going to consistently keep up with the tendency to run to the tight end, Backer's going to fit his A. No big deal. So now he's in all likelihood already across the face of the backside guard. So see, it's a better fit in the A gaps to take away that cutback on the zone. Both A's are covered. This is a B-gap defender who's going to be bending because he's reading the hip and the hips away, right? These are why we would call it it's so simple. One guy slanting, it's steps and techniques. They do every single day, so it's something that they're very, very comfortable with. So angle two in this example to the tight end. Angle away using the same tight end, right? Ringo call here, away from the tight end. Lucky call here brings them to the tight end. Okay, and again, those calls are always made by our inside linebackers. As always, please, any questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com, and I'd love to talk football with you.